This is Gemara and Tainis, Tav Chav Zayin, all glory for this month, the month of Tevis. Has been generously sponsored as the tremendous Chos, Yidu Neshama for Rayleib and Rav Yaakov, who lived in Radin, who was Zaycha to see the Chavetz Chaim. Incredible to be able to learn in such a Chos, the learning of the entire Chabura. Should Amir Tzashem be an incredible Chos of Rayleib and Rav Yaakov? Should it be Oilet in higher and higher place and a Ganadim Shalmaila? And he should be a Melitz Yesher for his entire family and the Mirza Hashem for. The entire Chabura. We pick it up on Chav Zayin Amad Aleph. We're holding four lines from the top. Again, I apologize for the slight technical issues. We're still in transit in Mirz Hashem. The next year, she's back and running with all the different details, but at least we have the highlighting. Says the Gemara, four lines from the top. So we went into the Mishnah that what were the Mamadis, the 24 groups that Kali Yisrael is broken up into. We spoke about the Mishmarais, the Kahanim Levim. <coughs> The Mamadites, which are particularly the Israelim davening, the Lashon of the Mishnah, was it was not only the Israelim, it was also the Kahanim and the Leviim davening, dependent on the Machlekes Vishayim. And then we went into, <coughs> excuse me, the reason why they are davening. Where do we get it from? Because the Pasuk says that the entirety of Chai Yisrael is bringing a carpon, and that's not possible. So we have these Mamadites, these people davening to make it as if everyone is bringing the carbon. So explains the Gemara, my Gamar, what exactly does the Mishnah mean? Says the Gemara, Hachi Gamar. This is what the Mishnah means. Eloim Mamadites. These are, <clears throat> excuse me, these are the Mamadites. But first, to Matan, take new Mamadites. Why? And how can each and every person be bringing a car from the way to Oymid al Gabab? You're not there. So they made 24 Mishmaros. So they made 24 So they made 24 Mishmaros. 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 And therefore, they made 24 Mishmaros. So the, the Gemara is explaining that the Mishnah is teaching us two different details. Number one, it's teaching us the reason, the impetus to create the need for these Mishmarites and these Mamadites was for what reason? Because we have to have a situation that is considered as if everyone in Klai Yisrael is bringing a karbat. And then how do we practically do it by making these 24 Mishmarites corresponding with 24 Mamadites? And we continue by Giyaz by Mishmar, Lalas, Koyan, Leviyam, the Doilin, Lirushalayim. That when it comes to time for the Mishnah, the Koyan, Leviyam will go up to Yerushalayim. So about 12 lines down, the first one line is Lalas, and now the Gemara goes along to explain what exactly were the Mishmaris. Again, the Mishmaris with the Kahanim and Levim work in the base of Migdash. The Mamadais were either the Yisraelim and or the Kahanim and Levim davening on everyone's behalf. Tanya Rabbanan explains the Gemara as in Ba'arbi Mishmaris. There were 24 Mishmaris, Paris Yisrael, and Eretz Yisrael, which they mentioned to be Yerichai. And they were told in Yerichai. Ask the Gemara, what? They mentioned to be Yerichai. They were told in Yerichai. If there were 24 in Eretz Yisrael and 12 in Yerichai, that's 36. But well, the Mishnah said is only 24. Explains the Gemara, of the 24, there were 12 in Yerichai, the obvious Pshat, 12 in Yerichai and 12 in Eretz Yisrael. He has man a Mishmar, always, when it came to time for the Mishmar to go up, Chatzia Mishmar, Oilam, Eretz Yisrael, Yushalayim, Chatzia Mishmar, Oilam, Yerichai, half came from Eretz Yisrael and half came, Yushalayim and half came from Yerichai. Why? Kriyushi Yispiku, Mayim, Umazan, Lachem, Shibishalayim, in order to supply water and food. For the brothers in Yushalayim, explains Rashi on the side, very important, eight lines, it's in our lines, Kaloimar. And of course, we know whenever Rashi says Kaloimar, Rashi is coming along that it's perhaps not the exact Pashib shot that you anticipated. How do you have the 12 in your Rechik Shigiyaz Vana Mishmar? La'alis, Yushalayim, Bishabis. Mishal can actually have Mishmar, Chet and Ochel the Yushalayim Avaita. Twelve came for Yushalayim, the Chet and Ochel the Yericha, and twelve went to Yericha Asmucha, which was near to Yushalayim. Misak and Shamayim Umazain Lachayim, and they were the ones to prepare the water and the food. Akach Eisin Al Kol Al Akach Eisin Kol Achavdal Mishmarais, and that's what happened each and every twenty-four Mishmarais. You'd base me a Yericha Lashanach and Yehira Li, and that's how Rashi explains. The Rashi saying that twelve half are coming from Yericha Yericha. And that they're going to be there to make sure that there's food for everyone else. Explains the Gemara five lines from the wide lines. Amar Rabbi Yehuda, Amar Shmuel, Kahanal Levi, Yisrael, and Me'akvin as our carbon. They'll be there. The participation, the active involvement of the Kahanal Levi, Yisrael, are essential. If they're not there, the carbon is not kosher. 
Bimasnita Tana and Abraisa said to Shimon Alazar, says of Shimon Alazar, Kahanim Leviyim Ukli Shir Makvin is a carbon. Not to just their being there, but the actual playing instruments is what's necessary. But my Kamifli, what is this Machlegis in the Braisa? Something that we've spoken about in the Gemara and Sukkah. Mar Savari Kashira Bepel, Mar Savari Kashira Bikli. It boils down to that the Machlegis is. What this was Gemara and Sukkot Dafnon, the very end of Sukkah. That what is the main ingredient in Shira and the singing and the praise that Kadosh Baruch on the base of Migdash was it bevad which they said in their mouth or was it bekli? So it comes out from Shimon Elazar says that you need the keli, you need the instruments. Whereas the Tanakhama Shmuel says it's enough even if they just sing with their mouths. And now says the Gemara, let's go a bit deeper into the Mishmaris, not necessarily a bit deeper, but the historical perspective and background, exactly how this developed. Explains the Gemara in the last narrow line, the Chavzayin Amar Aleph, Amar Rav Chamo, Berguri Amar Rav, Moshe Tikkun Lam, the Yisrael, Shmoneh Mashmaris, Moshe Rabbeinu established for Klai Yisrael eight Mishmaris. Arba Amei Elazar, Arba Amei Samar. So it didn't start right away with 24, it started with eight. Eight from Elazar, excuse me, one more time, four from Elazar and four from Yisamar. Explains the Gemara further. Call Shmuel, excuse me, Ba Shmuel, they meet in Hashem Esrei, Shish Esrei. Shmuel came along and he made 16. Ba David, Vimo Esim Ba And then what happened? David HaMelech came along and David HaMelech made 24. So what was the progression? The progression says the Gemara started off with Moshe Rabbeinu, Moshe Rabbeinu getting involved and making 8. From Moshe Rabbeinu's 8, it, it developed into Excuse me, it was eight from Elazar and Isamar. And then came the next eight, was from Shmuel, came and made it 16. And finally, David Amalek was one that made it into 24, which we see from the Apostle, three lines into white line. Shenemar, Bishnas, Arban, Lamachos, David, Nidjushu, Vimsu, Bam, Givure, Chayil. Then the 40th year of David Amalek's reign, what did he do? He looked after and they found a, man, a strong man, the Yaezer Gilad, in Yaezer Gilad. So says the Gemara, and that's how we know. That David Amelech divided into 24 Mishmarais, because this Pasuk is at the end of a lengthy list of all the different names, and from there we see that these were all the, all the different Mishmarais that David Amelech made at the end of the 40th reign. Ask the 40th year of his reign, excuse me. Ask the Gemara, may say, Moshe Tikan Lee saw Shemayna Mishmaris, Arba Melaz of Arba Misamar. Moshe Abinu said, Eight, four from Elaz, four from Misamar, but David Shmuel, the Minalash Esrim Varba. And then David and Shmuel came along and they made a 24. Shenemar, and this price explains that David and Shmuel together made 24. It wasn't that there was eight. And then eight from Shmuel, then eight from David. But rather it was eight from Moshe. And then David and Shmuel together came along and immediately bumped it up to 24. Shenemar. Hey, my Yasa, David and Shmuel, a Raya Bamunasa, that, um, hey, my Yisa, who's David and Melech established together with Shmuel, a Raya Bamunasa, and one who sees for all time. So, what do we see from this price that sounds like David and Shmuel together, collaboratively together, made the Mishmaris of 24? And not like Rav just said, that was eight of Mishra, a new eight of Shmuel, and then finally the eight of David. Explains the Gemara, Achi Gamar mi Yisaidi shall David Shmuel or Amasi Amidin al Esrim Arba. That it was from the Yisaid, it was from the together, the collaborative legislation of both David and Shmuel. That's how they got up to twenty four. Both David and Shmuel were involved. What does that mean? What that means is, is that Shmuel came along and made it 16 and David made it 24. It does not mean that together they bumped it up from 8 of Moshe to 24. No! It means that together they made it the resultant of 24. How do they do that? By Shmuel doing 8, followed by David and Melech doing 8. Explains the Gemara, Tanidah, live another rice of Moshe Tikam, and the Yisrael, she just said, Mashmara, Shmaina Me'elazar, Shmaina Me'esa. This Brisa says that Moshe Rabbeinu did 16, eight Elazar, eight Yisamar, Shrabu B'nei Elazar, B'nei Yisamar. And then when the people of the children of Elazar were more than Yisamar, what happened? Chelku v'amid in Elazar v'arba. They divided them up again and made them 24, as we're about to see, 16 from Elazar and 8 from Yisamar. Shein Amar v'imzu b'nei Elazar, Rabbim v'rashe ha'gibayim b'nei, min b'nei Yisamar. And it was that the descendants of Elazar were more then those from Yisamar. And what happened by Yechalkul ibn Elazar, Roshim, Lebis, Abois, Sheish Esrei. So what do they do? They divided by Yechalkul to the children of Elazar. They gave them heads of the family, 16. Well, ibn Yisamar, Lebis, Abois, and Shmaina. And then for a summer, they gave eight. Vahimer, we have another puzzle that says, Beisav, Echad, Ochuz, Le'Elazar. Vahachuz, Ochuz, 
Yisamar, that one extra family was for Elazar. And for Yisamar, it was the way it was, that for every Mishmar of Elazar, there was another one given to Yisamar. And therefore, Elazar ended up with, excuse me, not opposite, Elazar ended up with 16. And Yisamar remained with 8. So we see in this Raisa very clearly that it was that Moshe made it 8. It was that Moshe started with 16 and then he himself split up Elazar and Yisamar. Elazar was receiving 16 and Yisamar receiving 8. Before we answer that question, says the Gemara, my Va'imer, why do we need two Psukim teaching us the same thing, the division between Elazar and Yisamar? Explains the Gemara, six lines from the five lines from the bottom, Chitei Mekiech, Adin Afishim Bnei Elazar, Hachin Am Nefishim Bnei Yisamar. From the first Pasik, the Abim Sobane Lazar Rabim, it could have, you might have thought that just like the people of Elazar were more. Maybe the descendants of Elazar Samar were as well more. Shmoine that maybe originally Samar had four and then they went up to eight. So Tashima, the second Pasik says, Be Sa'ab, Echod, Achuz, La Lazar, Echod, Achuz, the Samar. And there we see very clearly that no. Elazar got an extra one that everything that Isamar had. That Isamar remained with eight, and Elazar ended up with sixteen. So I asked the Gemara, three lines from the bottom, Tiyofta the Rav Chamabar Guria. This is a clear question for Chamabar Guria. So see, over here we see that Moshe Rabbeinu did sixteen, whereas Rav Chamabar Guria said, no, Moshe Rabbeinu only did eight. Amr Lacha, Rav Chamabar Guria, two lines from the bottom, to no, you're right. It is indeed another brisa, but it's a machlekes tanayim and adami kaitana damer shmain and I hold like the other tana that says eight. So at the end of the day, we have a historical machlekes the perspective. How were the mishmaris developed and made? Was it my shabino that made eight, followed by the eight of Shmuel and the eight of David, totaling at twenty-four? Was it my shabino that started off with sixteen, twelve from Elazar? Excuse me, sixteen from Elazar and eight from Isamar, equaling the twenty-four. Says the Gemara, Tanra Abana Narba Mishmaris Alumina Golav Ilu Hain. There were four Mishmaris that went up of the original twenty-four that went to Eretz Yisrael from Babel. At the time, the second base of Migdash Rashi explains Ve'ilu Hain. And who are these four Mishmaris? Yedaya Charim Pishchar Ve'Emar. The four families of Yedaya Charim Pishchar and Emar. Amdu Neviim Shabineim. The Neviim from amongst them rose up as we turn over to Chavzayin Mabez. And what do they do? They divvied it up and they made 24 different Mishmarais that each of these four were divided into six and thereby equal 24 of out of these four families that went up to Eretz Yisrael from Babel. How do they do it? Explains the Gemara. The Kilfi, the Kilfi. They wrote the 24 different names on on pieces of parchment, Benastam Bikilfi, and they put it in a laundry box. This is reminiscent of the Gemara Numides by the Sirla Azazel and Sirla Hashem. Ba Yedaya. So first came Yedaya, who was the first family of the Chalkai, He took one for himself and he took another five for the other people, ended up with six for his family. So these four families, the four families of Yedaya. Of Chayram, of Charim, of Pishchar, of Amar, I think I said five, Chayram, excuse me, Pashchar, Imar, and Yedaya, those are the four. Each one took six, six times four, the 24 Mishmaris. The Chayna in this Viyah, the Chayna is the Neviyah and the Neviyah amongst them made it tonight. Shafilu Yayadav, Reish Mishmaris, Ayla. Then if afterwards, subsequently, let's say Yayarav, who is the head of all the Mishmaris in the first base of Mikdash, let's say he goes up to Eretz Yisrael. Lo Yitzcha Yedayim and Mekayma Yedayim will now lose his place. He already got first of the Nishmaris in the second base. Amigdash al Yedaya, Ikrav Yayada, Tafalai. Yayada would be the Tafal. So, from the fact that these four families were the ones to take the plunge, were the first ones to go up, Tarat Yisrael, Bisman at the time of the second base. Amigdash, they were they merited to receive the 24 Mishmaris. And now continues the Gemara, six lines down, Chavzayin and Mabiz, the next segment of our Mishnah, Yisrael, Shabbat Yisrael, Mishnah, Wisconsin. Barayan, the Kairin, the Mice of Rages. And they would read Mice of Rages, and then immediately ask the Gemara, what is the reason? We have these Mahmudites. <coughs> Excuse me. We have these Mahmudites who are davening for the Karbanites. Why are they reading? The story of the creation of the, of the, of the creation of the world says the Gemara, Omar, Rav Yaakov, Barachom, Rav Asiel, Mali, Mahmudites, Lonis Kaimu, Shemayim, Haritz. 
You know why? Because if not for the Mahamadais, the Shemayim and Aret would not stand, would not exist. Shanamar, Yomar Shemal Kim of Aida Kir Shanu, how would I know that I will hurt you? Omar Avram, Rebbeinu Shalom, Shemi Zol, Chaitim of Anecho, Ato Islam Kedar, Mabul Kedar, Flago says Avram of Venus Hashem. How am I going to know? Maybe my children are going to sin and they're going to wipe them up like the generation of the of the of Flago and of the Mabul. Omar Loya Shem responds, Love. No, Amr the father of Abraham said to Hashem, Rabbi Shalom, Haidiani, make it known to me. How do I know that I'm going to inherit it? How do I know that Christ is going to be a kapara? For the Averis in the future, Amr Alei says, Hashem to Abraham, Avinu, Kali, Agla, Mishulashas. Take this is the Brisbane of Sardam, take me three calves, these Mishulash, and three goats. And this is going to be a carbon that gives Christ all a kapara. And explains the Gemara of Asi continues. Amr the father of Abraham Avinu says, "Rabbi Shalom, Tinach was man shemis amikdash kayom." I understand this base amikdash that will bring this car bombs on shemis amikdash kayom. Matei aleim, what's going to be klai Yisrael? How's they going to get a kapara? Amr lo Yashem says, "Kvar tekanti." I ready made a takana. Lahem seder karbanos. Bezman, and here is the such important word quoted in the first few simanim of Shulchan Aruch. Shekayri lahem lefnai. Whenever we read the parish of the Karbanis, Mali Ani Aleyam Kilu Akrivan Lefanai, says Hashem, I considered it as if you brought the carbon in front of me, and I forgive them for all their Averis. So, such a critical and crucial ingredient is the recitation, is the reading of the Karbanis. Says the Gemara, Tanu Rabbanan, continuing about the Mamadah, is Anshe Mishmar. On the first white line, I misbali Mal Karban. Achem. They were the ones that were davin. They were davin for the carbon of their brother. She is kablu baratz and should be accepted. Van she maimid miskans the base again. As we yeshin dal taniyos, as we saw in the mishnah, van she maimid were fast for fast days. Bishini b'shabbos, shishi b'shabbos, revi uve chamishi Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Bishini al yarde ayam. On Monday, you know what they would fast for? They would fast for those that see mishlishi alochem and varays those in deserts. Berevi el asichra on the terrible disease. Shalay tibul al tiyanikis the children should not be fall this terrible. Uh, the cerebral disease. The Khamishi, when it comes on Thursday, Al Ibris and Anikais, they were down for the pregnant woman and the nursing woman. Ibris, they appeal to the pregnant woman that they should not have a miscarriage. My Nikai Shainaku has been and they should have what to nurse their children. But if Shabbos lay in Misanim on Friday, they would not fast when they covered Shabbos to the honor of Shabbos. Kavachoy, there be Shabbos Atzma, certainly in Shabbos itself, they didn't fast. But Echad be Shabbos, and of course, it's an elaboration of that which the Mishnah taught with a few extra details. On Sunday, says the Gemara, six lines into the wide lines of Chabzayim and Beis, my time alive, why did I not fast on a Sunday? Omer Rav Yechran, and they are night stream. Says Rav Yechran, you know the reason, the reason is because of the night stream. Because of the night stream, Rashi explains that on Sunday they made their Chag was their holiday. And therefore, if we fast in the night stream, the Gayim would be very upset at us. It's here, it's the third day from creation, which took place on man was created on Friday, Friday Shabbos Sunday, and the third day is always the most difficult day, so we don't fast on Sunday. Which, of course, is a tremendous chizik that we see that every single Sunday is as if we're the third day from creation of man on a Friday, an incredible idea. You know why? Because in Shami Yisira that we had on Shabbos, Tamri Shlaki Shami Yisira, and didn't know about the other Shabbos, we get an extra summer on Arab Shabbos. And in my Sai Shabbos, not the night Shami Men, it was taken for a mosh, and Emmer Shabbos, Vay Nafash. Kim Shesh Shabbos, Voy of the Nefesh. Woe is that we lost our soul, and therefore we don't want to fast on a Sunday to go from that incredible level of Simcha. Of Gashmi is of Taiva and Shabbos to fasting on Sunday. Continues the Gemara, and we'll just start the next Gemara. We're about 12 lines into the wide lines. Chavzayin and Abayis, be a Marisha and Bereshis, Yerakiya. On Sunday, they read the parishes of Bereshis and Yerakiya. Tana, we learned the name Bereshis and Bereshis, Bishnayim. The parish of Bereshis, they read by two people. Yerakiya was read by Echad with one person. Ask the Gemara, the obvious and basic question. Hirakiyah's three psukim, so I understand that is read by one person. Ella Bereshis, Mishnah, my time, a wise Bereshis, read by two people. Hey, psukim, Avon, it's five psukim, and how do you split up five psukim? Utanana, we learned that Kari Batero, Yimchos, Mikil, Psukim. So what do you do? This is a famous Gemara McGill that we'll get to shortly. What do you do when you're posed with a five psukim? How do you split it up amongst two people? Says the Gemara, famous Machlaikis, Rav Amar, Doyle, Gishmolam, Rav says you skip, you go back one pasik. The first person reads 
One, uh, excuse me, the first person reads three, and the second person goes back one and reads the next three. And Shemuel says, Paisik, you split up the middle of Pasik, the third Pasik, you split in half. The first one says two and a half, the second one says third and a half, two and a half. Rav, I'm redaling my time, remember Paisik, because I've heard the good Beskin and my shot, not the Beskin alike. Says, Rav, we don't split it up. You know why? Because we're not allowed to split it up. Possibly, I'm sure we did not split. Ushmul, I'm Rav Paisik. You know why we split it? Ask the Gemara, why? Do we split it up? Rav Chanina, 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 it's to teach them the psikkim are too long, so they split them up. But how does Shmuel allow us that every maimed they would split up a five psikkim parsha, two and a half and two and a half? Answers the Gemara Shmuel, us and time a maimed You know why for children we allow you to split it up? Because it's an impossibility. What are you going to do? And on that, she explains Shmuel, Achanami. Over here, it's also impossible, and therefore we have no choice. Explains the Gemara, five lines to the bottom, Shmuel, Why doesn't Shmuel say, like Rav? Rav says to go back one Pasuk. Why doesn't Shmuel agree? Answers the Gemara, Gezeir, Misham, Apmach, Las, and Misham, Yaitzim. And we'll conclude with that, the Gezeir, people come later, leave early, that Shmuel's bothered. The first person reads three Pesukim. Let's say so only leave Shmuel now. What are they going to think? They're going to think that the next person reads only two. Let's say someone comes late when the last person's reading the last three Pesukim of a five parsha. Five passing parsha. They're going to think the previous person read only two. And therefore, because of the concern, someone leave late or come early, leave early, excuse me, or come late, Shmuel says it's not good to go back. And rather, you split in the middle. And we're still in the middle of this debate between Rav and Shmuel. We'll pick it up from here in the next year. Four lines on the bottom. And Mirza Hashem.